So Tara uh, took her daughter after a birthday party to a restaurant. She still had in tow a birthday balloon in her hand to which it everything just kind of spiraled out of control uh people saying happy birthday to her she got twenty dollars they got their meal comped it was a glorious little surprise right so nikki then texted uh look had something similar happen to us but without the twenty dollars LOL. I explained to my kid afterwards that those things weren't honestly meant for us, that you put into the universe. So we took the money that we would have spent on dinner, bought some toys, and donated them. See? So uh, that that's good. Like that. Uh, Jasmine said, um, little white lie turned into something huge. My ex and his older friend told his friend's family that my ex's, my ex was his son from a one-nighter. <gasps> they believed it for years. It was out of control. They even named my ex in his obituary as his son. It was a little crazy. Oh. We were invited to the family reunions, to weddings, oh always introduced as his son and his daughter-in-law. Oh, my goodness. That That's is crazy. wild. Crazy. Um, oh, and- would you mention in an obituary? Yeah. Erroneously? It's, wow. It, it's gotten out of control. Yeah. All right, Melanie, what's yours? So my sister, um, when she first started dating her boyfriend, um, she made him a strawberry shortcake, and she cut up fresh strawberries on it, and he absolutely loved it. Uh-huh. But the trick was she didn't make it at all. She bought it at the grocery store and just cut up strawberries. And um, he fell in love with it. And um, so he kept asking for it. Yes. And um, she kept saying, well, okay, it's really special and it's hard to make. Well, (laughs) she would make it every once in a while. And then they stopped making it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. And so, yeah, he kept asking for it. Well, he got sick of cancer. And he kept saying, I really wish I could just get one of those strawberry shortcakes. And she was, she finally had to come out and tell him that she never made it in the first place. Oh my oh gosh. My gosh. Was, yeah, it was such, she felt so bad. Oh yeah. my oh God. No. That he is thought, insane. He had this special, special recipe and just do it, babe, because you do it so well. And then, oh no. Wow. Wow. She literally cannot cook anything at all. That is oh, funny. She, she didn't used to be able to cook at all. So, Melanie, thank you. That is a great story. <laughs> oh, that's good. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. I mean, of all things, of all things, he. I mean, I mean, hopefully he's okay at this point. But yes. like, gets sick with cancer and is just like, oh, that's you, the one you know, thing you can know, make me feel better. You know, you know what could really make me feel better oh, right now oh, is one of those great, delicious <laughs> strawberry shortcakes oh, you that just you make. That up the way you do, you're just so good at it. And and you know, I'm sure she is absolutely racking her head. Like, is there a place that makes one that's almost similar to it? Oh, like, gosh. is there anything I can do? And but then, then he's gonna. No, it's different. <laughs> oh my gosh! Did you change the recipe at all? Oh, I just had to tweak it because some ingredients aren't available oh anymore. Oh my Sorry, gosh! Babe. <laughs> yeah, wow. you know, supply chain issues, all that stuff. Whatever. See, I could never get caught in that lie because my husband knows I don't make anything. I know everybody knows that that you don't make anything, so <laughs> that could never ever happen to you. Safe. All right, good stories there. It's ninety nine seven DJX.